Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1973 Mazda RX-3 now this has 718 horsepower, 466 pounds feet of torque from its 2.6 litre 4 rotor Wankel rotary engine it now weighs 1,976 pounds, has off-road tyres, all-wheel drive and off-road suspension and it can down to 0-60 in 2.893 seconds not to 106.538 seconds and going to a top speed of 226 miles an hour. So we've only ever had one other Mazda on this series so far, the RXA R3, which is basically the newer version of this. So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this can do in comparison to that, given this is far older, but it's also smaller and a lot lighter. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. So the only uh, visual modification I've given this car outside of obviously the higher ride height is uh, the uh, spoiler on the back there. It's a uh, Mazda edition, so it's not, you know, you know, a fake edition that Forza have made up, so I figured I'd give it it because apparently it improves braking. Don't know how, but it just does, so uh, yeah, I figured uh, this car needs all the uh, help that it can get given how old it is, but the fact that it's dealing with, you know, five or so times the power that it had originally, maybe even more than that, so. Yeah, definitely needs all the help it can get, given the age and all that extra power. So obviously it was never meant for this. So many other vehicles on this series. Wasn't meant for doing this, wasn't meant for all-wheel drive. So, uh, yeah, going to be interested to see what you can do now. When testing on normal roads, this was a drift maniac. So, uh, I don't know that's going to be helpful here, we'll have to see. Certainly might help in terms of getting outside of corners and getting around some sharper corners, but... So they're not that, I'm not sure. Sounds like an F1 car though, with this engine. Holding on, on in every regard pretty much fine. Certainly not a difficult car to drive. Not like some of its contemporaries have been. Screamer over an engine across the finish line there at 167 miles an hour with a time of 2 minutes 4 seconds 0.551 so that is actually about 0.7 of a second quicker than the RX-8 R3 also means that it's uh, da -da -da -da. as quick as f we've got 4 vehicles, uh, well 5 now with this that are at that exact same time so it's exactly as quick as a Toyota Corolla SR5 which again is from the same period as this as well as a Toyota Sprinter Trueno GT8 Pex, a Porsche 911 Carrera 2 by Gun for Works and a Porsche Panamera Turbo so uh, yeah that's yeah two cars that are similar and three that really aren't so uh, yeah that is a uh, amazing this is as fast as those it's also quicker than a mini John Cooper Works uh, Countryman All 4 uh, an Opel Cadet A, Chevrolet Camaro Z011LE Triumph TR7 Roadster, Mitsubishi Starion, Toyota Celica GT4, Land Rover Range Rover Velar and the Subaru WRX Rally Car. But it is slower than a Lotus Esprit S1, again from the same kind of period as this, the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider Performante, Bugatti Type 35C, Alpine A110, Aston Martin Vanquish Segato Coupe and the Lotus Elise Series 1. But it's the fastest Mazda that we've had. It's managed to match four other vehicles, so now we have five vehicles at this exact time, which is really weird, to be honest. Never expected to have so many cars at the exact same time, especially uh, five quite different cars. Only this and the Corolla are similar, whereas the rest really aren't. So, uh, yeah, massive surprise there. But yeah, this car was easy to drive, really rather quick, handled everything that really wasn't meant to handle really rather well, and uh, yeah. As a screamer of a sounding engine and uh, yeah easily one of the uh, more unique sounding engines that are on this game quite frankly there's not many cars that we've taken on this series that have that four rotor the rx8 that i talked about earlier probably did as well but 
yeah, certainly one of the more unique engines and certainly one of the more unique sounding engines as well. So, uh, yeah, overall, really rather impressed with this. Uh, it's part of the festival playlist at the moment, so uh, get out there and get it if you haven't already. I've already reviewed this, which you'll hopefully see or have seen already. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.